So today we will talk about firewall rule policies and uh, these rules are going to be uh, implemented in this firewall in this setup here. We've got our VOS1 <clears throat> and uh, VOS1 is connected on this segment 1201 uh, and VOS24 is connected on the 2402 segment. Uh, with that said, the connectivity or the reachability from loopback zero uh, exists. So loopback to loopback connectivity uh, between VOS1 and VOS4 is uh, already configured and that is uh, covered in the, the routing, the static routing part. So you will have two static routes here. Uh, that would point to uh, the loopbacks. One, the static route for 101 would point this way, and the static route for 104 will point this way, and you'll have default gateways. Quad zero is configured on both of these routers to uh, reach each other. So, <clears throat> having said that, we will configure a firewall policy that would say that you only this loopback when the source is only this one uh, it can reach this guy and that's about it he would not be able to reach him uh, and he this source packet with any source other than loopback zero would not be able to reach so if i ping a default ping uh, it's going to take a source of this guy 12001 and uh, so we're going to block all that. We're going to only permit this guy to ping loopback zero. So 101 will ping 104, and that's about it. So let's, uh, it's basically specifying the source and the destination that is allowed through this firewall to go. And the protocol would be ICMP in the last firewall uh, video we talked about basic fire ICMP permission and it was taking a default uh, source and we we're pinging the directly connected interfaces so now we will you know make sure that only one specific source that we want is is permitted and everything else is denied and you know take a look at how that policy looks like so we have the setup going and now we will look at the, uh, the configuration let's look at the configuration of VOS2 first uh, just to make sure that show AP route would have two static routes here uh, this guy and this guy so as I said, 101 is pointing towards 12.001 and 104, which is this one is pointing towards 24.004. So you only have two static routes and here you have a default route that is pointing towards the gateway, the firewall gateway. So this guy has got a default quad zero and same with this guy. He's also got a default pointing towards M. So that's the setup. Let's make sure that the reachability is there. I can ping 104 by default. And I can ping 104 with the source of my own loopback. And that's good and here as well I can ping 101 which is the loopback of VOS1 and I can also ping with the source of my loopback force loopback and that is true now <clears throat> I just want to permit this ping to go through and not this one. So when we put the firewall policies in, you'll see that 
this will stop and this will keep on going. So I'm gonna push the configs through my automation and uh, then we'll look at the configuration and how it looks like. Let's go through this. It will take a couple of seconds before it gets implemented. And in a second or two, you will see that this guy will stop and this guy will continue. And uh, as soon as that happens, which has happened now, this guy has stopped and this guy is continuing. So that means the firewall rule has been pushed. So let's look at the firewall rules that we pushed out through uh, automation. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna define a firewall and you can name it whatever you want. And, and the first rule, you have rules in each firewall uh, name or definitions. And the, what you're trying to do is you're saying, I'm gonna accept and I'm gonna accept the destination. That's the one that I'm trying to ping. And I'm saying ICMP type name is echo request. I'm requesting the ICMP and the protocol is ICMP. And the source address has to be 101.111. That's my loopback. If that is the case, do allow it. Rule two says, now this is the traffic. This, this set of rules are, is the traffic going this way from VOS1 to VOS4. And rule two, you're saying accept uh, the destination 101. This, you know, the traffic is going back. ICMP type is echo reply. So I'm going to reply back. So accept that to this destination only, right? And the protocol is ICMP and the source is going to be my interface, right? If the source uh, is not my interface, that means if I ping his directly connected interfaces other than loopback, it's not going to work. And then once I have these rules in place, this first set is traffic going VOS1 to VOS4. The second set of rule is coming back. And with, with, you know, you can see the source and destination has uh, swapped. And then, then you create the zones for the interfaces, E0, E1, and then implement the zone policy. Basically, you're pairing the zone saying traffic from zone one to four and traffic from both zone four to zone one do these firewall rules. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's try to test it. So this guy should not be able to ping if I do not give him the source. So here you go, I can't ping. Only if I give him the source, what is where you can actually ping. So this thing is working. I can keep on going and I'll show you the uh, firewall stats, show firewall statistics and here you can see uh, the packets rule one has got this many packets and bytes accepted source and destination see this is going to keep changing as your ping is going through and it's also telling you what's getting dropped as well so that's pretty straightforward with this you know specific source and destination your commands here would be show configuration commands. And there you go, your firewall set rules exactly as we discussed is implemented. I just use automation. You can look at the automation video that I have. Uh, it's much easier to put the configs in quicker, quicker instead of typing and making errors. And that's why automation is used is to make sure that it's tested before it's implemented in production.